we take just a moment to really appreciate Primetime Toys with what they've been doing with the Dark Zone and Adventure Force lines, their blasters are incredible, and even the ones that aren't incredible are still really good. And that's crazy to me. And they're continuing that trend. For example, I have the Dart Zone Ballistics Ops Powerball here. The only blaster so far released in the line, and it's the first one they've released in this line, and it's a pump action, hopper, or magazine fed springer with a trigger. I. I mean, Nerf is, how long has Rival been out? And I still don't think this particular kind of thing exists. The closest thing is the Artemis that has an internal magazine, which is great. I like that a lot. But even when you look at like last year's Atlas, it was a two shot shotgun, which was kind of cool, but still overly complex and didn't really perform all that well. And when Rival first came out, Hasbro put out things like the Apollo, which you can't rationalize to me why that wasn't pump action. I mean, it was a top, Thomas style prime which wasn't that good and that bothers me I mean that's the thing that constantly happens is that they kind of milk you they know what you want they know what people want but they refuse to build it first blaster in the line it's an amazing blaster I've already unboxed this thing a long time ago and unfortunately my microphone wasn't on so you're gonna be seeing clips of me when I originally tried to do that review but I've had this for a while, I've ran it in a war, I've talked to people who have used it, and the consensus is it's just an amazing blaster. It hits a little bit harder than the current rival average, but the best part is it can use either the included hopper, or any hopper really if you really wanted to, or it's even compatible with your standard rival magazines. You simply up at the top, depress that, and you can shove a magazine in there. Now, the initial run of these has an issue. I will sometimes double feed balls into it using a rival magazine like this. That's not a problem with the hopper, but when you really think about it, it's not meant to be using those magazines anyway, so I don't know. However, the Powerball, holy crap. So if you look at this from like, hey, I don't have rival, I'm not really into rival, what should I be using? The Powerball, is your answer. This thing is probably the best starter rival blaster by far, but even more than that, it's probably one of the better starter blasters, period. Because when you get this thing, you get the hopper, the blaster, and eight of their ballistics ops rounds, which are really, really cool looking, and they actually work phenomenally well. They feel a little bit denser than the standard nerf rival high impact rounds, and on top of that, they have a different design where while rival rounds are kind of dimpled like a golf ball, these have little hexagons cut into them, which is really, really nice. Almost looks like the ball is covered by a netting. But the point of this thing having a hopper is that it's really easy to top up on the fly. And that's the best point. That's the entire selling point of this blaster, in my opinion, besides the fact that it's only $18 from Target. But yeah, you just shove rounds into the top of it while you're playing. And if you shove too many rounds into it, now it does come with eight, and the hopper will hold like 13, you start to get jams. But if you run very few in it, like six, you aren't gonna have a problem, except for if you're like fighting up hill or something like that and you have the hopper pointed back like that, then you're gonna run into some, some feeding issues, which is a little disappointing, but that's the nature of a hopper. And again, it's compatible with a Nerf Rival magazine, so that can be alleviated if you choose. But the point is, you buy this blaster, and you don't have to go out there and buy a bunch of magazines or anything like that. Heck, if you have a community dart bin at your war, you don't even have to buy darts for it. You could just pick up what other people shoot at you and feed it effortlessly. You can just take a handful, shove it in there, and you're good to go. And this thing hits hard and pump action is kind of a good starting point for pretty much everybody because it does have a superior rate of fire to most other things and it's very intuitive. All you do is pump it. Now, personally, I don't like the vertical foregrip. I, preserve, I, I prefer a horizontal or like a shotgun prime, but this thing takes a lot of force to prime, and that's kind of the biggest issue about why it has that vertical foregrip. I think they could have used an angle one, and it would have worked really good. In fact, if they would have put something like a, let's say the priming on the Quattro Blast, that would have been incredible. 
Unfortunately, this doesn't do that. It's just a standard vertical grip, which honestly kind of ruins the aesthetic for me, but this blaster is small. It is really not that big at all, and it's not thick either. Very, very thin, and while the hopper is a little bit in the way, this is a very good blaster to have as a secondary because it's really easy to top up. It has good range, good fire. It's good at everything. Is it going to keep up necessarily with a completely crazy modified nemesis? Probably not, but again, it only takes usually one ball to get somebody out, and this shoots them pretty darn well. They're reasonably accurate. It's just a phenomenal blaster, and that's the thing. If they can do this the first time, I really wonder what else Dart Zone is capable of, especially if they put out more expensive blasters in the line. I highly, highly recommend everybody pick up a Powerball. I don't see a reason not to. Very comfortable grip. It does have a trigger safety, which I think is mandated for anything that hits this hard. And it has a jam release. Again, right out of the gate, something Apollo did not have, something they had to add in later. Do I have any wishes for this thing? Well, I want to see them put out more of these hoppers. That would be nice because they are kind of like paintball pods almost. However, you can have these open, even though it has an open bottom here, you can see that little orange latch, which prevents a round from falling out of it when it's open like that. So it doesn't feed around until you plug it in. And I'd like to see some other methods of feeding rounds into the blaster. The biggest issue I have right out of the gate is that if you put any kind of rival magazine on this thing, it happens to look like a unicorn, which while cool, I really don't want to get hit in the eye with this thing. Although I should be wearing eye pro, but could you imagine falling on this and getting it right here or something? That would be horrible. Uh, it can do it, but I don't really recommend it. And again, stock, this thing will double feed every once in a while. Buff Daddy Nerf has already released a 3D printed part to fix that, which is great, but it's just a great blaster. I honestly, I, I can't say that with any kind of hyperbole. It's a well-made, well-designed blaster from the very beginning. And that's all it took is just one thing to win me over with what they're doing. The Ballistics Off Powerball, is a very, very good blaster. And if you don't have rival or you're looking to get into rival, this is the blaster for you. If you ever play at a war that has a rival round, you don't need to have a crazy amount of magazines. You can go out and buy a couple of balls, throw them in a dump pouch, carry this thing, you're done. I mean, maybe the only complaint I have is that it doesn't have a sling mounting point on it, which makes it hard to run as a secondary, but it's really thin. You could almost holster this thing, especially once people start designing new pump grips, like again, some kind of angled pump grip, or heck, if you want to just modify it yourself and put on something like what they have on the Quattro Blast or the Pyragon or something like that. Very, very nice. I can't gush about it enough, unfortunately. It's a crazy, crazy good blaster. I'm Walcom S7, thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one, and make sure that you're down in that comment section talking about the Powerball, and most importantly, letting Dark Zone know what else you want to see in this line.